this is Artifacts of Mars. And this will begin the series. I'm brought coming to you from Newtown, Connecticut. Yeah, that Newtown. A couple of observations so far. First observation is it says on these uh, internet videos, YouTube, this place is quiet and dead. Not so. This place is jumping. It's a beautiful place. I uh, don't understand the discrepancy. I'll show the center of the town, but I wasn't able to show it before. And here's the reason. You see, the instant I got here, a set of freshly charged batteries in the same camcorder I'm recording in now went dead the instant I got here. I have no explanation. But this is Newtown. We're going to do a documentary and we're going to see what we can find out. There may be several documentaries or I may limit this to one day. We'll have to wait and see. Just for verification, this is Newtown Hardware and there's some pet store over there. Like I said, I wanted to do that at the center of town, but a set of fresh batteries went inexplicably dead the instant I got here. No explanation. I have no idea. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Now everything you're about to see is real, unscripted, and unedited except for the titles I had. I'm going to add titles. I may have to clip out a clip or two that I don't think is really pit pertinent. But this is going to be raw, unedited. I'm hoping I can get some interviews with people. Next thing is to find some uh, lodging for the night, which I'm going to do. The roads were crummy and took a long time to get here. A lot longer than I expected. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll get some lodging, get set up, and I'll see if I can find people to interview. But you know what. Is it real? Is it fiction? Or is it just something in the eye of the beholder? We're going to try to find out. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for your attention. This is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, okay, this is Sandy Hook. Apparently this is some kind of upscale development. That's what it looks like to me. And I have not found school yet. This, just for documentation purposes, is some sort of open space preserve or something. I don't know. There's signs all over the place saying the uh, cops, they keep watch on the place and report suspicious activity, which I can't blame many in a way. Uh, let's see what this sign says. This parcel of Newtown Open Space maintained for the use and enjoyment of the public, for the well being of visitors, as well as for the environment. Please observe the following rules. Okay, I'm going to take a quick look around in here and um, am spray. Uh, uh, funny, I haven't found any school signs, period, in the subject. Well, that's a little curious in and of itself. Okay, uh, this is kind of a clearing, nothing to see here, nothing in it of any real interest. And do what all little boys have to do occasionally. So I'm going to move back into Sandy Hook proper. I did not understand. Apparently that's separate from Newtown. It's kind of 
it's just as busy as Newtown, but it does seem to be a pretty big contrast. So, we'll move along, and the inn supposedly opens at 4. I'm going to go there and try to get a room. If I can't get a room, I might wind up uh, sleeping in my car. Alrighty. This is Artifacts of Mars, and what you're looking at is downtown Sandy Hook. As I said before, I have yet to find any schools or anything here. Now, this is Churchill Road. It leads up to uh, Newtown. Funny thing is, I did find St. Rose's of Lima School. I have not photographed that yet. That's on the agenda. Uh, here's Creek. I wonder if there's any fish in there. I should have brought my fishing pole, but I don't have a license. Mm. Eventually I have to try to find somebody to interview about this, but what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look up in, I hate to say it, the cemetery. So I will put this on hold, and when I get to the cemetery, we're going to start documenting. I'm artifacts of Mars. Okay, I'm going to document anyway. Uh, this is downtown Sandy Hook. There's nothing... I don't even see a school, like I said. Strange. I looked. The only, only school I found was the one... St. Rose's of Lionel, which I'm assuming is Catholic school. And I found one dance school. That's it. That's Those are the only schools I found in the entire area so far. I learned very quickly. I learned the area. And I might have seen... I think maybe I saw a middle school when I arrived. I'm not sure about that. So I have to take that back for now. We're going to take a look around the uh, cemetery and see what we can find. Cemetery's up ahead. This uh, seems to be a very busy place and so far nobody has asked to speak with me on it. A little bit on the shy side, but I'll see if I can interview somebody. No notice has been taken apparently at all, which is odd. We'll see if we find any tombstones that match the date. I'm only going to do matching dates because I have to conserve space at least until I can employ my computer. Okay. This is Sandy Hook Cemetery. This picket fence is new. Uh, not picket fence. Uh, tin fence. Fence is new. I tried to find an opening so I could park up here rather than park down in the center of town. Wasn't going to happen. I found one super steep driveway and I said, no way. Okay, gate was not locked, so we're going to take a look around and see what kind of tombstones we find here and report it. If I find anything that matches uh, the Sandy Hook tragedy, I'll show it. As you can see, all these tombstones here appear to be very weathered. I mean, these things are old. We'll 
take a look and see what I can find. See, tombstones like this, I have all the lichen and stuff on them. I'm not going to bother with them. Very old. 1800s. Again, very old. Very old, very old, very old. These tombstones have been here for a long, long time. And doesn't appear to be anything buried, anything new here. Certainly nothing from Sandy Hook. Certainly not from the shootings. If I find it, I will show it. As part of being objective, we're not here to prove any point. I'm not here to prove any point. I'm here to examine the area. That's what I'm here to do. Here's one that looks relatively new, what you're going to take a look at. I do have some use of my computer before I can get into a room in the inn. 1875. This cemetery I don't know the name of the road, I'll see if I can find out. Uh, if you're driving straight on Churchill Road, uh, it becomes another road, and that's what this is. No tombstones here. There are no tombstones from any kids of the Sandy Hook shootings. No tombstones. These are all old. Most of them are from the 1800s. There's 1892. There's 1886. There is nothing here. Absolutely nothing from Sandy Hook Elementary. So I'm going to go I'm probably going to take off on foot and do a walk around this place because uh, there's too much of a pain in the ass dragging the car around. This is Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook Cemetery. No kids were buried here. Period in subject. What does that mean? Fuck if I know. I'm artifacts of Mars, and as soon as I have something else that's interesting to look at, we'll take a look at. Interesting stuff there. It's not related to Sandy Hook. Uh, there's a sign for it. Let's see if I can bring that up. Children's Adventure Center, Visiting Nurse Association, Senior Center, Municipal Agent for the Elderly. Not terribly interesting. Now we're going to take a look at the firehouse. Since I am in the general vicinity of the firehouse anyway, we're going to take a look at this and document it. Alrighty. Now, any of you who have watched these uh, videos on YouTube about the famed firehouse, here it is, I think. I'm going to have to watch the videos because it appears to me, I don't know, maybe they rebuild it. I don't know what's going on here. And everybody's off because it's July 3rd. 
See, originally I wanted to come here in April when, uh, well, it was at Easter is how they, so I'm an agnostic anyway, I don't much care. Unless I get kicked out of here, I can't go past a certain point here. So no trespassing or signs all over the place. So what we're going to do is we're going to document all this and you can judge for yourself. Well, that's for your safety. I don't want you going back. Now, they are building a new school. I am at the site of the school. I found it by accident, believe it or not. There's no signs leading to it, and I don't understand that. No entry beyond the, this point. Violators will be prosecuted. The folks so off. Uh, fine. I don't need to go in there. I'm at maximum zoom. Uh, don't you conspiracy theorists go, uh getting in over your heads. They don't want people in there because they don't want them to get hurt. There's no conspiracy in that. That's kind of... I can't blame them any. I agree with them. I wish I could see better in there, but... We'll give you a good look at the place. I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going to trespass. As you can see, take a look at the school, they are rebuilding it. There's no question at all there's construction going on. That's documented. Now we're going to take a look at the firehouse. Now if you've uh, been on YouTube and seen the conspiracy videos, you may have seen the people going roundy, 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 roundy. Uh, at the firehouse. This is that firehouse. There's a lot of fire equipment in here, but this is a fairly decent sized place. Like I said, I don't know what the construction is here. I'm not going past some cones either because I'll fall and break my neck. If you've ever wondered, you may see them on YouTube video where the people are going roundy roundy. Okay. So they went roundy roundy. Well, look at this. I don't know what they're doing. No idea. There's some recycling boxes over there. I'm not going anywhere near it. This is only a document stuff. So you make up your own minds. Other than that, standard building, LRM Incorporated Landscape Contractors, Newtown, Connecticut. I'll give you a little clue, people. I've yet to see one Sandy Hook Elementary Memorial here. Nothing. In fact, people don't seem to especially care to talk about it. They haven't really approached them. So you can take your pick. Here's the front. Just for documentation, this is the front of the firehouse. This is the firehouse you saw in the video. At least I think it is. You can see they, they've redone this, uh, all the concrete here. That may be what they're doing out back. I don't know. I don't know why they would dig it up like that. And again, LRM landscape contractors, whoever they are, I have no idea. I'll probably take them about a half mile walk out further and see what I can find around here. All this is the document. The place is not dead like it's been portrayed on the internet. That that part is BS. Sandy Hook Volunteer Fire and Rescue Company Incorporated. There it is. This is no internet conspiracy.
conspiracy here. I'm gonna put this on hold and see what I find. I'm not gonna walk very far, I don't think. Okay, people. Again, we have the road. I'm gonna walk up as far. You might be able to see a red barn up there. I don't think there's anything interesting up here, to be honest with you. So I'm not gonna go any further. Cars on low, low on gas. So I drove all the way from western New York. I haven't filled up yet. I ain't seen no gas stations here either. There's some very interesting elements to this place. It's not quiet like they said on the internet. This is a jumping, jumping area. Well, uh, tra there's traffic going through. I like it. I like the area. I like the people. Well, there's some things that seem, do seem to be inconsistent, like the lack of tombstones. And go figure. If I find another cemetery, maybe in Newtown, I'll uh, try to document that as well. This is kind of a dangerous road, and people are whizzing up and down it like madmen, so... Unless I find something interesting up here... I probably uh, won't be back. I've already documented what I need to document at the firehouse and the school. I didn't realize how close they were together. This is called Sackfield. I'm going to take a quick look at it. Turn around. Okay, this is private property. There's a bunch of firewood sitting there. I'm not going in there. And this concludes the tour of this part of Sandy Hook. I showed you the new school they're building. They got blocked off so they can't get in there. That's for safety. I don't have a problem with it. Showed you the firehouse. Nobody's bitched at me or anything. Everybody's been friendly. Very nice people here. I appreciate that. And we will see what else there is to document. I'm right back to Mars. Okay, I'm just going to document other side of this building. Not going nowhere near it. Just wanted to give you all another perspective on this. I don't know which direction I'm facing, but school's behind there with the uh, crane up there. I had no idea this was this close to the school. Kind of odd, I've never seen that before. Anyway, that's the other side of the school. Well, not school, duh. The uh, firehouse. Don't seem to be nobody here. I. When that closed down, I ju just got all their uh, trucks out back. As I showed, because apparently they're doing some kind of renovations. I'm not sure what. Anyway, that's just an addition on this. And we'll keep on going. Another kind of upscale neighborhood. And uh, notice this uh, red varnish look on these uh, houses. That's odd. It seems to be a uh, common thing. I don't know. I've never really seen that before. For documentation, yeah, semi made a lot of noise. Uh, Dickinson Drive. So sure you all can see it. Dickinson Drive. School's back there. Firehouse is over here. Now, I'm not going to go near it, but here's some more of that new tin fencing.
that's about it. I'm going to start walking back towards my car and towards center town, and we will take a look around. Okay, I'm insatiable. Town of Newtown, multi-purpose building, Children's Adventure Center, Visiting Nurse Association, Senior Center, Municipal Agent for the Elderly. But, here's the interesting part that I've noticed. There's no trespassing signs all over the place. I'm going to play it safe and not go near it. They never mentioned this. Very peculiar area. In some respects. Nice place in others. Okay. By the way, that Cemetery of Science says 1813 to 1942, so that explains why there's nothing recent in it. That's just a correction on this. That's the reason why. As I didn't notice that sign before. We'll take a look around and see what we can find. No memorial so far. Okay, uh, I'm looking down the center of town. This is actually a very hilly area. It's sad that hasn't been portrayed by anyone as that. Not news media, not conspiracy theorists. Nobody has talked about how hilly this place is. I was really shocked when I got here. I'm not too, not too shocked because I did take a look at it on Google Maps. Well, I looked at Newtown on Google Maps and so I was at least prepared for the fact that it was hilly. I never really saw that on any of the conspiracy videos or anything like that. I didn't see that on news reports either. Uh, just documenting the light poles here. That uh, road's called Riverside on this side, and then on the other side is Church Hill. I bet you these light poles look really nice. They're red, white, and blue for uh, July 4th. So, that may be interesting to uh, look at. They get out and around. I'm going to try to find some lodging here. But like I said, they had the roads chewed up almost the entire distance, so I'm sitting there saying, I would say it cost me an extra hour, at least. At any rate, this is the center of town in Sandy Hook. I showed you the firehouse, I showed you Sandy, the rebuild of Sandy Hook Elementary. It's amazing how close those two are together. I had no idea. They're, I mean, for me, I would never even bother taking the car. That's a short walk for me. See, I don't get out much. Uh, there is Sabrina style women's store. Oh, what's the name of this street? This is a side street. A lot of places for sale and lease. Same thing where I live. But this place is smaller, and yet. And yet, it's got more businesses. It's weird. St. John's Episcopal Church. Uh, didn't hear this mentioned on any of the videos. A couple other places. Other, you know, I showed those upscale homes, a little bit of stuff out there. This is that same road, and there's a road that goes off it. I don't think it's terribly pertinent to anything. 
So I think I went down the other other street. Not much to see here, I don't believe. I'll turn this off again. Okay, this is more of Sandy Hook's uh, business district. Lots and lots of restaurants around here. Interesting. And what it is, is uh, this place has a steady influx of people down uh, Route 6. You know, they get a lot of travelers in town, that, probably a few uh, like me too, are looking into Sandy Hook. Not really much different than what I see where I, around where I live. I have one curious parking lot that interrupts me. There's some these uh, columns over here. And this has nothing to do with Sandy Hook at all. Itself, I'm just going to take a look at. Because I enjoy looking at strange formations. Okay, I don't know what used to be here. All that's left of these pillars, apparently. Maybe some kind of pavilion. Nice, refreshing looking creek going through here. A drain pipe. Probably from a uh, storm, storm drain or something. I get you a good look at this. This is one more part of Sandy Hook. Doesn't have anything to do with uh, controversy or anything like that. It's just for... I'm documenting everything that I can find. I gotta be careful I don't get lost because I'm not familiar with the area. Now at some point I'm gonna go back up at that inn. Maybe I'll give myself 15 minutes and... 15 minutes leeway and then wait for them and see if they show up. It's supposed to show up at 4. Then it could get a little uncomfortable for me if I can't find lodging. So far they seem to be the only place around here that has lodging. Look at that, isn't that nice and refreshing? I'm going to take a break and we'll be back. I've pretty much documented the area now. Nobody's approached me. Nobody said anything to me. Everybody's been uh, just fine on that account. It's mostly curiosities that I mentioned. Like, you know, a firehouse, a school so close to a firehouse, and, you know, they, act, they do kind of block it off for public safety. Other than that, I give you a good, solid look at the firehouse. Okay, uh, and it should be noted, noted that for me, at St. Rose's Lima School, which I am going to try to document as well, that place is, for me, a medium long walk. I think I'll swing by there, there on my way to the inn and try to get a room. If I can't get a room, I might just gas up the car and leave, but I'd rather stick around and try to, uh, talk with people, this is the thing. I'm on the of Mars. Okay, it's our Pax of Mars again. This is St. Rose's of Lima School. You know, it's funny, this place looks a lot smaller on the inter internet, on YouTube. 
everything else looks larger. This actually dwarfs uh, Sandy Hook, as near as I can tell, the Sandy Hook School. I gotta see if I can find somebody who would, can hook me up with a press representative, and we'll see uh, if we can get some information. Because uh, it was shown on uh, CNN, CNN portrayed this as Sandy Hook, and there's no way in hell you could accidentally do that. This place is huge. I'll see if these folks can help me. You know, they won't be able to tell me anything, but maybe they have somebody who can speak for the school and would like to be interviewed. Hang on. Okay, so I guess the main office is over here. So we'll talk to them and see what I can get out of them. Hang on, and we'll see what I can find. Okay, this is Artifacts of Mars at St. Rose's of Lima. The school, church. Like I said, this is a big place. Uh, struck out here. There was a video that was shot by CNN that was later proven that it was shot here, whereas CNN claimed that it was shot at Sandy Hook Elementary. I uh, just talked to a representative of the church and he denied that the cops were ever here. So, we're going to put that one in the stonewalling category. Definitely on this one, it's stonewalling. I'm Artifacts of Mars and... Oh, I'm Artifacts of Mars and... Uh, that was my car's alarm system. It didn't show off when I wanted it to. Didn't go off though. Alright, I uh, need to go check into the inn if I can find a room and we'll go from there. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is Artifacts of Mars. I didn't show Town Hall earlier. For what it's worth. This is New Town. Town Hall. As you can see, it's very active here. It's not quiet at all. I'm a little surprised at that, but I just told them everything is quiet. Here's the odd thing that I found to be kind of a continuous thing. I guess it's a mixture of private and public sector. Now, taking a look at this sign, Edmond Town Hall, Tomorrowland, Borough of Newtown Office, Newtown V&A Thrift Shop, Chamber of Commerce, and Lathrop School of Dance. I guess they do things here differently in Connecticut. find some place to stay for the night, it's going to be a very uncomfortable night. I struck out twice, I uh, tried to get uh, lodging and say, nope, we're all booked up. Second place, yep, yeah, we're all booked up. You know, I was told one had uh, three rooms. Anyway, I'll probably go out a little ways and see if I can find the campgrounds or something. Because I really don't feel like leaving here until I've interviewed some people. I did interview one guy just briefly. I didn't really interview him. I just talked to him. There at St. Rose's of Lima, and he lied. I'll see if I can find the campgrounds or something. 